Today we're going a little bit old school and we're gonna hit up Dragon Door's exclusive ISO chain program, Old School. Now this is a little different. You guys, here, check this out. The way they laid this out is actually pretty awesome. Interested? Well, I don't know. Interested? Didn't you just say that? Yes. I'll do it! We're doing a four sets of ten, like reps. Each contraction is only one second long. I know we're used to six seconds, 20 to 45 seconds, and one to two minute long holds. We're gonna throw all that out the window right now and just go for literal reps. Only it's still static. Weird, right? Okay, let me get into it real quick. There's 30 seconds between sets, not reps, sets. So after we do our four sets of 10, and each rep is 10, you just take about 10 to 12 seconds, you know, give yourself a little bit of before each contraction or repetition in this case. The intensity is a pre-selected load. That's right, we're using load mode for this one exclusively. So we're training to hear that beat. It's single progression for this style, and when the four set to 10 feels easier, then we start to increase the load with the progressive overload for that style. Did Nova Q use isometrics in this way? Like I said, guys, the rabbit hole goes deep with ISO. This program involves three drills per session, and they're all in this four set to 10 style or contraction. They're kind of interchangeable for this type of program. This program is for anyone who's really used to traditional sets and rep schemes in the gym. So pretty much most hybrid lifters, particularly because it works well for those who psychologically respond well to a set and reps. It's also a nice change of pace for those that are used to the six seconds and 20, 45, a minute and two minute holds, and you just want something to switch it up a little bit, maybe for four weeks, uh, maybe on a D-low phase, or you just want to change up the program because it's been six to eight weeks and it's time. Here are the workouts. Deadlift, the bicep curl, and the shoulder press. Four sets to 10, 30 second rest between sets. Tuesday, we're off. Wednesday, front squat, bent over row, and tricep extension. Thursday, we're off. Friday, deadlift, bicep curl, shoulder press. So it's the same as Monday. We're getting a mix of total body, lower body, and seems like primarily upper body, with Saturday and Sunday off. And essentially, we want to continue alternating, taking the weekends off, making sure that's, that's part of the program. So the following week, we'd be starting with front squat, the bent over row, and the tricep extension. Y'all feel me? So it's on a rotation. This is the only ISO chain program in Paul Wade's isometric manual, which allows for progress based on instinct. That means is if we could complete four sets of 10 on each drill, then we increase the weight, but only if you feel comfortable and we're ready to do so. And we can increase the weight by two to 10 pounds or whatever we're feeling. Also, remember to warm up before each of these sessions. That's enough chit chat. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, here we go. Four sets of 10 with 30 second breaks in between. I set my load, it's about 350, so I'm trying to hear the beep each time. So let's see what happens here. stuff on the same video but let's be honest I'll probably end up doing it I don't really want to do it I do it for you Woo! oh that that sound is gonna really annoy me here we go Oh my god, this is gonna be fun. 
I'm already out of breath. I just started freaking total body. They did that on purpose. They put a total body in the beginning on purpose. Dang, Dragon Door, I thought we were cool, man. Dang. All right. Woo! Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 
135. Oh my god. 140. Oh, it's dipping now. so it doesn't get any taller sorry oh my goodness 10 seconds really oh dang oh my god you would think that you would think that like when we power lift and we're in that like three to five six rep range that we need like two minutes of rest time. <laughs> oh, between sets, man. 30 seconds between sets. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. All right. I stalled long enough. What was that, an extra 20 seconds? Y'all can see on the uh, on the screen. All right, hopefully y'all can see this. I don't want to drop it too much and, and warp the, uh, the loading ring. Set it to like 130. <laughs> last one. That's it. What was that last one? 107. I'm surprised it was 1 0 anything after that. Oh my lord. 40 max contractions. Yo, look. I don't know if. Yo. It, <laughs> yo this is the craziest. This is the craziest pump right now. Alright. So we're going to switch to shoulder press. But before we do, I'm going to just let y'all know for the, uh, the day two stuff that we're supposed to do Wednesday, the front, the front squat, the bent over row. And a tricep extension. Yo, I'm sorry. This is hard. I'm not doing all that today. But I will show y'all how it looks with links to the how to perform video. I'm not doing all that today because we're not supposed to do it anyway. Ha, excuse. Shoulder press. So whenever we do these videos to show the squad, uh, the ISO chain programs that Dragon Door came up with, I never do my actual ISO chain workout for my program on the same day I record this. I used to do that. I did that with um, the Promethean. Uh, if you haven't seen a video on that, here's a link right here. 
Um, I, that's the only time I, I never once again did it because I knew how hard these are. <laughs> so I get I get off on doing my um, I get off of doing my other ISO chain workout. Get off on it. Let's. Uh, with that said, let's get into it. <laughs> All right. So I have my <laughs> I have my load set to one fifty. Even that sounds bad. I'm gonna stop while I'm very, very behind. And go. Oh my god, alright, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. As soon as I did that first one, the, the chain hit me right. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I know that's happened to somebody on the squad. Don't lie. No, you don't got to comment, but I'm cool. If you know, I know that you know. I know it happened to somebody. <laughs> Come on, it's been 18 months. I know it happened to somebody. Uh, whew. Oh, boy. Here we go. Ah. 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 No beep. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Ah. Ah. Oh, no beep. Oh, two. No beeps. 133 in the last one. Oh man. So what's, what I'm noticing is that I'm not able to hit my peak contractions because I really should not be, so I'm trying to, I should be conserving oxygen. But um, remember it takes six seconds, right? So for the four seconds of rise time, I'm not getting that. I'm only getting one second. So I'm not really hitting the numbers that I thought I would be able to, which makes sense. So be mindful of that if you're, um, uh, when you're setting your load up for these, it's not gonna be your max right off the bat. Anything so this is this is as real as it gets, man. Oh, no stalling, no stalling, no stalling. Oh, nope. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, it's the fifth one. Ooh, man. It's so much ISO tender. I'm like tightening up my glutes, my abs, so I don't swing. It's taking a lot out of me right now. I wanted that beat. Damn it. Got that damn beat. Got that beat. Oh. Y'all that's been in the game, y'all know. Just get that beat, man. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna cut to the final thoughts because I have them. Okay, so y'all can probably see this. I have a major pump right now. It is just, wow. I felt it with the, the deadlift. I felt it with the bicep curl. I felt that on the first set. And I felt, I definitely feel it right now. I mean, it is, my front delt is just lit up right now. I feel it, I feel it in all three. I like that. I like that. Um, I feel like I might use that to switch it up from traditional ISO chain training. We're still getting the static benefits of isometric contractions. It's like doing holds at the gym. If you've ever done like bicep curls, you just hold it for a second and come back down. You're still getting the benefits of isometric contractions. So we're still getting the benefits of isometric contractions here. I will say though that performing max contractions back to back to back, be ready for that. That is actually really tough. Would appear that way to me, yes. But I, I like it though. Um, also, like I mentioned um, earlier, we want to focus on a load that we know we can hit. We won't have time to hit that peak contraction. So for example, let me give you a shoulder press example was uh, I'm usually hitting about 220 in that position, the bottom position for the shoulder press. So I set it to, after learning from the other two exercises, I set it to 150 knowing that that would probably be my sweet spot in the first second. And I was right. I started to die off around the end of it. Figure out what that load is if you're gonna perform this program. I like this program. I, I totally see why it's for lifters. For the other exercises, the bent over row, the tricep extension, and the squat. Y'all probably think I'm lazy. <laughs> but here are images right now of all three of those. This is exactly what you wanna do for each one. The squats, the front squat, or you can do a variation of the zercher or belt squat if you have the setup. The, uh, here's the bent over row. There's different positions that you can perform on it and that's great. And then the standing tricep extension is what they are mentioning here because there is a lie down version and that is not listed here. So hopefully we all got some value. Hopefully you got some entertainment from me dying. What do you think? What do you think about this program that they came up with? I think it's great. I, my shoulders are on fire. I feel the other two, just not as much as my shoulders, probably because that's the one I just did. So uh, if you liked the video, be sure to drop a like, go ahead and comment. And if you're not yet part of the squad, hit that subscribe button. Come join the squad with us. Let's get super strong together. We will see you in the next video. Peace.